What's up everybody and welcome back here for a Torque Drift episode here. I know I've been throwing down a lot of a set of course of content, but super excited with the new PC build. But today we're on Torque Drift to talk about one of the hardest challenges I think to date. And it's a simple challenge, but it's really difficult to complete. I know I was talking to Fernan the other day and you know, he was having a bit of a hard time as well. So the challenge I am talking about is that of the Von Gitten 1969 Mustang Jump Chase Challenge. I have completed it. I did get the 35,000, but it's a very interesting challenge. And I know a lot of people have probably already tried this and completed it or whatnot, but it's very interesting because the car handles very different and it also uh, involves a little airborneness. But we're gonna test it. We're gonna try and get on the leaderboard today with this challenge. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Let's get to it. <laughs> Getting chase challenge in the 1969 Mustang. We're starting second gear. Get ourselves in the third. Jump drift in there. Oh, try and stay and the airborne jump that kind of gets kind of got me threw me for a loop the first time it's just the car doesn't really want to stay super sideways so I'm having a hard time doing it I feel like clutch kicking is working way better now and we kind of just biffed it into the wall but still nonetheless 25,000 so that jump is what throws me off so I only have 26,000 and you're looking at these scores right now. Top of the leaderboard is definitely up there. I mean, TRD guys, like, right up there. 66,000 in this chase. And I know you can't get points in the air, I don't believe. So that's what makes it so complicated. So we're going to give it another go. And we're going to try this one or two more times here for today and see if we can't maybe better and get at least on the leaderboard. But I believe to get on the leaderboard we needed almost 40 some thousand. Hard flick, just bumping off him. I'm gonna stay off the jump section. Oh, so we, if we're on the ground, we can get points. Now I see. So if we're on the ground, even though Von Gittin's in the air, we're still gaining chase points. So we need to uh, stay on the ground while he is in the air but stay at angle but we were nowhere near close to him and we are nowhere near him through this section so this is not gonna get us on the leaderboard at all because we are way far behind double clutching for that clutch kick double pedal clutch kick it and nope definitely not gonna do it on this time so like I said one of the most interesting and probably one of the hardest challenges I've tried so far I know I have said hardest challenge to date but Torque Drift keeps coming out with these challenging, uh, you know, things. And it's it's incredible that they continue to bring these challenges out. So, we're going to give this a couple more tries here for today. And then we might switch up and run some normal tandem runs here for today. Throw it in. That's not going to work. we got to stay up on his door in the beginning to make sure we're actually getting points on the jump section. I just love the way the springs are canted sideways in the back. Much better, initiate sooner. Nope, nope. Stay sideways while he's in the air. Throw it out. That wall tap kind of gets me as well. I'm way off. Definitely way off. So like I said, very challenging and very fun to try and complete. Luckily I was able to get all the uh, crates on one of my runs. I believe it. Oh my, Vaughn. I believe it took me about six or seven tries to get that 35,000 mark and to get all of the uh, available prizes for this challenge. And there we go. That's a little bit better, but not when we tap the wall. So if you guys are on the leaderboard, where are you guys on the leaderboard? Very curious because, you know, I'm trying, but I'm uh, I'm failing. 
and that is solely because the car does not handle how I really want it to and then we die I believe if you do buy it you could probably tune it some suspension wise and everything and I believe it keeps that tuned car for you so I feel like maybe these guys that uh, have these really high points have this car and are using a custom like suspension setup and stuff like that to make the car handle a little bit better for the chase Oh, there we go. It's a little bit better. Oh, come on. Well, we did better our... No, we didn't. We didn't better it. I thought we bettered it, but we didn't. 35. I just want to get up there. I want to get at least in the 200th spot at, like, 43. But I don't think it's going to happen. Try my best here, but Vaughn definitely throwing down a very nasty line. I would love to be able to fly high with him through that section, but I don't believe you can get points if you are airborne and we need to try to get as many points as we can yep nope that's not going to do it see i didn't see that coming when the first time it went out so if you guys want to keep seeing torture gun channel make sure you tap the like button subscribe i do appreciate all the support from you guys and all the support on the new content with a set of corsa um i do not have forza installed on the pc yet so i know a lot of people have been asking for some more forza 7 content once i get a set of corsa uh, so once I get Forza 7 put on the PC, I will definitely be bringing some uh, PC Forza 7 content because I would like to compare how the wheel feels between a PC version and the Xbox version because there's emulators and stuff like that out to make the Force feedback feel better in Forza 7. So, I am going to be trying to do that. I know some people have been asking to bring back the G920 for the difference on PC versus my Fanatec on a set of Corsa, and that is possibly going to happen. So I got to uh, make some room and maybe be setting up the second setup so that I can do comparison for a G920 wheel and you know the budget-friendly wheel versus you know the not-so-budget-friendly. Um, Fanatec wheel. Yeah, oh, there's just a little graze. So I don't think we're going to be able to get any higher than we already are. So I think we're going to cut our losses and just take our crates and move on. We're gonna go see where we can get some, maybe get some tans before we end this episode off. Vaughn getting junior pack. Don't have it. I feel like my RS drives a little better than that one does. So let's go see what other places we can go and get a few doors before we end this episode today. What do we got? We got Slab, Captain's Hook, Full Track, Jonathan Caster. We're going to go to the Captain's Hook. But we're going to bring out the Focus RS. Now that they did fix the ability to put decals on the Focus RS, I know a lot of people are throwing down some amazing liveries. There's a couple, there's a Frederick Osbo livery out there that looks like. Osbo's Toyota I am and we're going against a big girl 929 horsepower against our thousand horsepower RS third and fourth kick it out I wanted to get closer to the wall and we just totally biffed that not the best entry in the world we should have entered a little bit differently. We were able to finish the run without smacking into the wall. So if we will be able to better ourselves in the chase. Torque Drift, definitely still fun. Going to be getting walked on in this run. Going to be working on maybe possibly bringing some different style Torque Drift content here for you guys. Got to talk to the game devs and see if I would be allowed because I do, you know, abide by their wishes and only bring out stuff that they let me bring out for you guys and talk about what I'm allowed to talk about because I don't want to give away too much because uh, they got some secrets in the work that, uh, well, I can't talk about. So, they're always working on improving the game and bringing more and more content out for us. So, we're going to try and do this one more time and get a better initiation. I don't think we're going to go against Tim though because he kind of just walked us. 
So we're gonna try and search for somebody else. GG, sir. If you do watch the channel, good, good run. Kind of just walked me. So, 900 horsepower Skywalker. Not sure if it's a bot, but we're gonna try and get a better entry for the final run here in this episode. My car did creep forward a little bit. And we're gonna try and just throw hard initiation. Flick back. That's a little bit better because we're getting all the clips. We didn't get as close to the wall as I wanted, but we all know my curse. Oh, I want to get closer to the wall, and that happens. Rips. <laughs> I think that'll do here for this episode. As always, I thank you guys for watching. Just a quick torture video for you guys. I'll be more of it. I'll see you guys on the track.